1997, the year Titanic sailed into theaters, the year South Park shocked America, and the year you first heard this song. Oh yeah, you know that one, Mbop, the international hit by three brothers from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Well now, the boys of Hanson, they're all grown up and their fans are too. So after multiple Grammy nominations and over 16 million albums sold, Hanson is seeking a new way to appeal to fans. Mmm, hop, beer. The Hanson brothers join us right now here on set. Isaac Taylor and Zach, welcome to all you guys. Okay, you. from music to beer, well, it feels like beer. a leap. Music and beer have a natural connection. Well, <laughs> I have to correct you. I've heard a rumor to that effect. It's, it's um, hops, as in lots of hops. If we only put one hop in the beer, it would be not it's enough. Horrible. Um, so, it's why, did, why did you decide to get into this? Well, it, it sounds a little bit more of a jump on, you know, on paper. When we've run our own record company for the last 10 years, we're very self-contained. Our business, we run the merchandising, the web stuff. We're self-managed. I mean, it's always been about passion, and this is about passion. Yeah. And our, you know, we've seen our fans grow up and change. I mean, I'm 30. You know, we've developed a love for craft beer, and honestly, it, it really started from just falling in love with great craft beers and mm -hmm. and going, you know what? Every night we're looking out at an audience. Somebody's yeah. got a beer in their hand. We love, you know. I want a piece of that action, maybe right? Maybe something that we, maybe we should be brewing something that's, you know, our flavor. So, and what is your flavor? Um, the, it is a pale ale. Um hops is an American pale ale. It's really robust, but it's super drinkable. It doesn't bite your head off with hops. Yeah. If you're, if it's you're actually got a little bit of a malty quality to it, which I actually think is really nice. It kind of keeps, it kind of keeps a, a more smooth palate to it. You know, some. Some of my favorite beers actually are some California beers like Sierra Nevada Pale Ale and Anchor Steam, and I think it has a lot of qualities uh, that are similar to beers we, like that. The other thing that we like about this is we see a huge similarity in the craft beer movement and what we've seen in independent music. There's yeah. all these craft beers, these, you know, these guys that are sitting there brewing their passion. Um, you know, places like Three Floyds and Dogfish Head, and you know, he mentioned Sierra Nevada is the gold yeah. standard. Yeah. Um, and people like Sam Adams got it, you know, really led the way 30, 25 years ago. Yeah. Um, and we we just love the whole industry. We love the whole spirit. Well, in other words, you could you could have just a small group of guys who are yeah. able to create music, or come up with a great recipe for beer, and then yeah. actually just promote it. Or you just get make beer and and start drinking it, and then you get inspired to write a song. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you talk about the craft beer industry being very independent. Music's yeah. also going very yes, it is. independent. It's going and you guys yeah, have been part of that. Ten years ago, we started our own record label in 2003, and um, have really been doing it ever since. And what we've seen is that. Um, a decade ago, it seemed like a big stretch. A lot of our friends, a lot of other business colleagues in the music business were going, what are you guys doing? You guys well, because we left Def Jam and... and right. yeah. we, we left we, Def Jam, we left yeah. a, a big record label, and, and now you see that more and more, every year, more market share is taken over by independent labels, independent artists, and so it really is the wave of the future. Is Isn't that good? Is that an opportunity? I mean, for you to have maybe more control over your own destiny as Well, it's, it's higher risk, but also a lot bigger payoff. Obviously, you get a lot more from every record sold, but you have to put out a lot more on the front end because you're you look at the industry. Yeah. When you look at the industry. When we were left the label, it wasn't a matter of oh screw the man. It was a matter of looking at our fan base, our business, and going, you know what? You got these big corporations buying each other, buying the other one just to sell it. And you're like, we don't want to be a pawn in this. Like we don't yeah, want right. to just be sold and, and we bought. Don't be an asset. Our fans are not just an asset to be traded. So we we said, hey, we'd like to leave. Thank you. And we decided starting our own thing was was the right choice for us. It's not for every band. You don't sleep very much. No. You right. know, you know, anybody well, who runs their own business had to work harder because you had you had to become Absolutely. businessmen as well as artists. Well, I mean, and, and there's an Absolutely. inevitable connection between music and and being a band and being a business. But you're right, it is a reality to the dollars and cents and the hours spent. And and for me, you know, in in business as in as in being a band, you have to be consistent. The goal is consistency. It's evolution with time, but it's consistency. And for us, being a band and owning the label and things like that was about consistency more than anything. It was about staying the course and being consistent with where you wanted to go and where you had been coming from. So what are the songs you're most excited about right now? I mean, getting a well, new our album. Yeah. We have a new record called Anthem. We're on tour right now. In fact, the beer is going to be sort of premiering in different states around the country throughout Oh, it's kind of like you planned it. Yeah, it's almost like <laughs> you planned it. <laughs> and in fact, our band is 21 years old this year, so there's a little synergy there. Ah. Um, the record is called Anthem. Them. It is a lot more guitar driven. We've always written melodic pop songs, but this record has some weight to it. It has some more, we like to say it has a little more fight to it. There's just kind of a, you know, it gets right up in your face. There's an aggressiveness, and it's a great album to play live.
Well, you guys are all from Oklahoma, obviously brothers growing up in Oklahoma. Yeah. How much of that sort of heartland spirit? Beer, that's a heartland sure. thing, oh, you know, sure. anthem, Absolutely. that's that immediately says red, white, and blue to me. Yeah. It does. As, I mean, we are proud to be from the Midwest. We're proud to be from Oklahoma. Um, there's a lot of music heritage from there, um, and there's a growing craft beer um, culture there. We know basically everybody in the state that's brewing, and um, we we are really proud of the fact that this is brewed in Oklahoma. Uh, Mustang Brewery is the, the our partners that are helping us get it actually produced, making the liquid, and we, we like the fact that people can actually get a sense that this is from our little corner, and as it grows out, you can come to Oklahoma and know that this is, like, we drive right down the road and it? do it. Uh, where are you producing it? Um, in Oklahoma. It's, produced. it's actually there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. Oklahoma City is where Mustang is based out of. And we're actually in Tulsa, but 90 miles away. Yeah. So y'all still live in Oklahoma? Yeah, still live in Oklahoma. Yeah. You know, that's, we, as a band, we've always been really influenced by uh, American rock and roll and just sort of love the idea of being from somewhere. And that's always been a big part of who we are. And 21 years you've been singing professionally. Yeah. Our first show so was 1992. Has yeah, when, I mean, when most people met us, it was about 16 years ago. You mentioned 97. But before that, I mean, we were, being brothers, you could start a little earlier than the average band, you know? <laughs> rehearsal was just like, a hey, bit. rehearsal, yeah. over there, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I was six. We were six. I mean, wow. we went to an arts fe you know, festival, and we stood on stage, and we basically just said every time we did a gig, we got another gig. Yeah. And, you know, about, we made independent records, you know, we did what every band does and, and got signed uh, about five years in. And yeah. Hey, you guys are also married. You have families. Of all that, staying together, um, new album, families, yeah. a new business. Um, what are you guys most proud of? Uh, well, oh, surviving, I think. Surviving. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I think that it is about, you know, to some degree, it is a, about being the last band standing, in, you know, yeah. in this business. Like, how long can you keep it together? And can you continue to put out stuff you're passionate about? We, we've always talked about passion leading the way. That's why we're doing the beer. That's why we do the label. Honestly, I mean, even us and being family men, having families, I mean, you, yeah. you're fueled by the stuff that you're inspired by. I so. want to inspire my kids to work hard. <laughs> at the end of the day, I want them to say, well, my dad had a cool job, but he worked really, really hard at it. And I think that ultimately that's what America is all about, is working hard. You know, you're it's never going to get the yeah. same results every time, but as long as you encourage people to work hard and to have great work ethic, then ultimately, you know, the future is yours to see. Well put. Thank you so much for being here. Isaac Taylor and Zach, great to have you. Thanks, Hanson, everyone.